Hello once again the peoples and welcome to Let's Play To The Moon. Okay, two things. First of all, audio quality is better but quieter. We're trying a new microphone. Secondly, this game is a lot more story driven than a lot of the other games I've been doing. They've been gameplay driven. I'm deciding to switch over to mostly narrative driven games because, you know, they're just more interesting to watch. And, um, yeah, without further ado, let's play To The Moon. There's a lighthouse, a hill and a house with a chimney, two people sitting on a park bench, they've disappeared. They aren't ghosts. Well, one of them might be a ghost. But they're not ghosts. There are no ghosts in this game. Were you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. You ran over it anyways. Oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry, it's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. Hmm. We'll just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine, whatever furball he fancies. Crisis averted. Good, go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Received equipment. Got the sucker, let's roll. Hey wait, don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you'd remember. How thoughtful of you. Yeah, these two hate each other. Well, they don't hate each other. But they hate each other. Oh, look, a boulder. Who put a boulder here? Well, the game designer, obviously. Maybe it's their security system? Cucumbers, we don't have time for this fluff. Yeah, she also uses really weird swear words. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with. Wait. Or we could just call a night and blame it on that. Let's push it by hand. All right, on three. One, two, three. I, I don't even, what was that? Not a boulder, that's for sure. Uh. We need to get going for now. We'll... We'll figure that thing out later. Right. Those clouds. Ma, they're here! Not a bad place to retire at, huh? I could do better. Night shifts. Love them or hate them? You know the answer, you stupid owl. Probably gonna be another all nighter, you know. I know. 
And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies, not through your blathering mind. And your eyelids will... Don't forget the equipment, moron. I don't get paid enough for this. Act 1. I've never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Dr. Watts and Dr. Rosalyn, I presume. Thanks for coming on such a short notice. That's okay, I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I'm just his caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a nine to five job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man? Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just pre he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. The plot thickens. Sort of. Come on, grab the case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. Alright, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. No fair, you pushed me! Did not. Whatever, you get the boring two notes anyway. good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who's carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. Yeah, yeah, come on. Should be meteorite, Neil. Really should be. Okay. He's unresponsive at this point. By the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. There's Jock. There's Johnny. Sorry, I've got the hiccups for some reason. Ready to set up? Yep. Yeah. yeah, it'll just be a moment. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. Standard procedures, just keeping you on your toes. How's he doing? Not so well. If I were to say, he's just got a day or two left. That's plenty of time. So you two can grant him any wish, huh? The drive. But we always succeed because we are awesome. So what's the wish? The moon. The moon. The moon. He wants to go to the moon. Which is different from what I thought. I thought he wanted to, like, own the moon. He geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? So, can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. Why didn't you tell us about our client here? That's... I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he 
barely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away just two years ago. Two years that she's worked there, two years since the wife died. Don't really know many details. I would have known more if I was his paper boy for Pete's sake. Shush, just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind, since he signed for you two. Hmm, so be it. Right, which one of us plays detective? Let's go with Dr. Rosalind. Thanks for the offer, but I'm busy leaving a butt print on this chair. Right, do continue. Tommy and Sarah can show you around. They're probably at the piano downstairs. And with that, we end the first episode of To The Moon. I'm trying to keep these shorts so that they're, you know, more approachable. But, uh, yeah. I hope you guys like this series as much as I like it. It's a, it's a damn fine game, I'll be honest. And, um, I will see you all next time. And until then, I wish you all a good evening, morning, mid-late afternoon. You know the spiel.